In the chalk lab, it was your task to produce 5.5 grams of calcium carbonate and 5.8 grams of sodium chloride. And your first challenge was to determine which reactants would make most sense to use to produce those two chemicals. And everyone decided that sodium carbonate and calcium chloride would allow us to produce those things. So as you notice on this uh, chemical equation um, is essentially this reaction is a double replacement reaction where these ions swap uh, with other ions. And as a result, uh, we have chalk made, which is a solid, and sodium chloride, which is aqueous, which is a solution. So when you poured your reaction, your solution that had this sort of white milky look to it, um, you can tell from the chemical equation that the only solid that existed was the chalk and the sodium chloride, that salt, it's just regular salt, uh, stayed in solution as water and that more or less moved through the filter. So what you um, are going to be doing now is writing the lab report for this one. So let me go ahead and move to the lab report document. Let me just reduce the size of this. And here we have our um, template. So at this point, most of you have written your proposed chemical reaction, so you are set with that. For the strategy, this is where you work through calculations of how much of each reactant you need. This is what you, I'd like you to put into uh, your strategy and also tell me then in your procedure how much of each chemical it is. So for example, you would say, I um, place this many grams of sodium carbonate into a beaker. Step two, add water to the beaker. Um, you want to say how much. Step three, and so forth. And you discuss the entire process down to filtration, down to uh, measuring the mass of filter paper. Remember your procedure needs to be able to be replicated step by step. So I would imagine that you would easily have almost 10 steps to this procedure. Data analysis proposal. Well, what are you going to do with your data to determine how effective yours was? So uh, you're going to discuss that you're going to measure the mass, and then from there, how are you going to be able to tell, what does that mass of your solid tell you specifically? For the data table, I don't think you need a graph for this one. You simply tell me the mass of uh, the solid you have. You should identify, recognize what the solid is, and then critique the effectiveness of your lab. The, Critiquing the effectiveness of the lab is where you will see that I have a video linked uh, in the slides. And the video is going to teach you how to do what we call theoretical yield or percent yield. And essentially, it's how much did you expect to get and how much did you get, all right? And then lastly, you're going to have photos of your lab. And if you could please tell me of your $1,000, how much did you actually use? Remember, for those of you who do not want to get engaged in the budget uh, game, you are welcome to ignore that piece. So that is how you complete the chalk lab. Just a reminder, you'll find the video of how to do percent uh, yield, that's critiquing the effectiveness of your lab. And then in terms of that, remember, not only are you critiquing here, but you're also discussing why your results were not maybe exactly what you expected. Where could that powder have gone to? Why did you make too little? Or why was there more than what you expected? Really sort of think through those steps.